Hello, welcome to the Everton News Daily. Jordan Pickford and Jarrod Branthwaite are being called up to England's provisional squad for the European Championship taking place this summer in Germany. Obviously, Jordan Pickford will be in the full squad. Branthwaite will see. I expect him to be named in Gareth Southgate's 26-man squad that he takes to Germany. Branthwaite was called up to, for, to the England squad for the March friendlies, but didn't get on the pitch in those games against Brazil. But I think he will. He'll get in that 26-man squad. He's been brilliant for Everton this season. He's a left-footed centre-back. He's, he's just got better and better. And I'd be surprised if he didn't get taken in the 26-man squad. You never know. It is England, of course. Different things have happened. I mean, they haven't included Dominic Solanke in that squad when he's had a great season, so you never can tell. But I'll be I'll be very disappointed if he isn't part of the 26-man squad. I'm sure Jared Brantwaite is absolutely delighted to get that call. Uh, Everton, it's been rumoured today, are interested in Galatasaray defender and former Tottenham player Davison Sanchez. Everton are apparently one of three Premier League clubs, Fulham and West Ham named as the other two, who are interested in the Colombian centre-back. Um, Sanchez potentially could replace Jared Branthwaite. That is what the story goes on to say. Uh, Branthwaite again linked with a move to Manchester United and Manchester City today. Um, the United link has the fee at £65 million. Pound. I don't know whether or not United will bid that for him, but uh, City well in there as well. Listen, I hope bids come in for other players first and Everton are able to repel any bid for Jarrod Branthwaite. I don't know what the club's plan is. Obviously, the stuff with Triple Seven, other owners, uh, other prospective buyers, it's all up in the air right now. We're waiting for confirmation of that. Apparently, there is a meeting this week between Farad Mashiri and the FAB, the Fan Advisory Board, so we might get a little bit more information from that one. Whereas we're up to in terms of having alternative buyers, and I just wonder whether that could kind of um, strengthen Everton's hand in keeping Jared Brantwaite because, you know, let's be honest, we want him to stay for another season. Connor Cody, former Everton defender, has um, said last night, I think it was on a BBC podcast, that Jared Brantwaite should stay at Everton for another season. You know, we said, Evertonians love you, you're playing every week, another chance, another year to develop, uh, don't move too quickly. I think we all feel like that, and obviously that would strengthen Everton's hand again because his value will go up. We don't want him to leave, but it mightn't be as simple as that, and that's why I'm saying if bids come in, I think we've everybody's accepted Amadou Onana will probably leave this summer. Bayern Munich again linked with him today. They're Manchester United too. If Everton got a decent bid for him, then maybe that would negate the, the need to sell Brantway, but... I think if you're talking about Sean Dyche's budget for bringing players in, Everton may well have factored in selling both to give Dyche a decent budget this summer to strengthen the, the team and squad. So we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. Uh, and finally, back to Jordan Pickford. Um, he has basically indicated he ain't going anywhere. There's been lots of stories about Pickford over the last few days. Chelsea linked with him, Arsenal linked with him, of course. Uh, Jordan put on his Instagram, uh, proud of this team and how we overcame the challenges thrown at us during this season. Can't wait to kick on and build next season. Thanks for your support throughout the season. That might be him just, you know, protecting himself or it might well be him saying, see you next season as Abdelai Decore tweeted as well. I'm sure Jordan Pickford isn't thinking about leaving Everton Football Club. Should the Champions League club come in with a big bid for him and offer them big wages, that's a decision that he would have to make. But he's playing for England. He's England's number one. He's been at Everton a long time. He loves the football club. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, this for me is him just puffing his chest out saying, yeah, we've got through a trying season. We'll be better next season and I'm going to be in goal. So let's uh, let's take it as that. That's a one team. Right, that is it for the news. Hit the, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you later.